Nothing I made you do. Nothing. Hey friends, I'm Joel Kurlowski, the super brave teacher. And today we are not talking about Taylor Swift. We're actually talking about tank tops and the things that I don't make you do. But since you were wondering my thoughts on Taylor Swift, here it is, real quick. I choose to live life in positive, and I have one billionth the amount of attention that Taylor Swift has. So guess what? Taylor Swift is an adult. Let her do her. And when I listen to a song like that, I think, how does this apply to me? So look what you made me do. I don't think she's talking about the haters. I think she's talking about herself and her ego. And she's saying, ego, look what you made me do again. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to destroy this ego, this old Taylor, and I'm going to be the new version of me that is positive and loving and accepting. Do you hear that, Taylor? That's what I think you're saying. You are awesome because you are you. Period. Just like everybody else. Joel, I don't think people really care about your opinion about Taylor Swift, but anyway. But like I said earlier, today we are here to talk about tank tops and the things that I don't make you do. I'm going to speak from a place of scars. I'm not going to speak from a place of wounds. I have been wounded very much in life, and I have gone to therapy and worked really hard on myself to now have scars on my heart, on my soul, and I'm going to speak from that place. Someone recently posted on my video on homophobia, said, You know what, Julie? Probably wouldn't get as much homophobia if you didn't wear these tank tops all the time. If you didn't, you gotta do it to yourself. And I took that in and, you know what? I'm gonna really take that in a positive light. And I'm gonna say that this person was probably just being funny and poking fun at who I am. And I take that. You're an adult and that's fine. But I think the bigger story that I was hearing is, Joel, you're actually making people be homophobic against you. Joel, you're actually, could just change your hair, you could change the way you dress, the things you put out in the world, and the world would actually be a lot nicer and kinder to you. I really thought about that, and I disagree. Because you know what? I'm a kindergarten teacher. I'm a gay kindergarten teacher. Gay kindergarten teacher, keep listening YouTube and Google. Yes, I'm a gay kindergarten teacher and I'm an adult. So I know that we all walk around with our wounds and our scars. I'm an adult and I know that hurt people hurt people. So when people come up to me and say, Joel, you suck. Joel, you're this way. Joel, da 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 da. I can say, you know what? You're hurting and you're hurting me. Okay? I'm an adult, I notice that. But at, imagine being a child and going up to a child and saying, ugh, look at your haircut. The reason people are making fun of you is because of your haircut. Oh, you're dressing this way. The reason people are making fun of you is because you're dressing this way. And then take it a step further. I can take off this tank top. I can change my hairstyle. Imagine being someone who cannot take off their skin color. Imagine being someone who cannot take off their sexual orientation. Imagine someone who cannot take off every single thing that makes them them. So yes, I could change a tank top, and I'd probably get less looks. I could put my hair down, and I'd probably get less looks. But I cannot take off me, and I will never, ever shift or change or be anybody but myself. And as an educator, as a teacher, I will never tell a child that they are making me do something that they are the reason that I am responding in hatred, anger, racism, sexism, homophobia. No, they are children. I am an adult, they are children. So I really encourage us to look at that phrase, you're making me do this. I hear it all the time from teachers. I'm sure I've said it myself. I hear it from parents, teachers, adults. You're really making me angry right now. I feel really hurt when you do this. I feel so sad that you're not listening to me right now. No, no one is making you do that. You feel this way and they are doing these things. Guess who has a choice to do something? You do. Guess who has a choice? You do. So if you feel sad that a child is doing something, say, buddy, please stop. I feel sad right now. Please stop. But a child is not making you sad. A child is not making you angry. No, 
We are adults. We are in charge of how we respond to things. We are in charge of our own taking a deep breath and being present with kids and other people. So I am not making you do anything. I am not making you be homophobic. I am not making you be racist, being sexist, being xenophobic, being any of the things you need to work on. I am aware of all those things in myself and I need to work on those things. When I see even a glimpse of homophobia in myself, when I say, ugh, I don't wanna be like that, I just say, why am I thinking these things? The moment I see, ugh, why is she doing that? I gotta say, that's sexist. I need to take that out of my life. When I say, ugh, I don't feel comfortable around this person, I gotta say, wait a second, that is racism. And I need to call that out in myself. So I encourage you to call that out in yourself and to speak truth with yourself before we go around and saying, look what you made me do. It's a catchy title, Taylor. Nice job. But no one is making you do anything unless you are using that as fire to make yourself a better you. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to be a better you. And I will keep wearing my tank tops. I will keep putting my hair up. I will keep doing me every day. And I will keep inspiring kids especially to be who they are. Because they are kids. They are kids. And now I'm a big kid and I get to model for them how to spark bravery and be the best versions of themselves. Today, be the best version of you. You are awesome, you are awesome, you are awesome. Leave a comment below. What do you think of my tank tops? Do you like them? I do too, I do too. And what else is on your heart these days? Leave a comment below. What is something that you figured out that isn't true for you? Like, I realize no one makes me do anything. Leave the comment below. You're appreciated, you're valued, you are enough because you are you. You're not making me do anything except send you some love because you are awesome. Bye friends. Look what you just made me do.